you know, I, rather than write about the Haydn guitar since I have this aim, did you want to talk about this? Because I'm not familiar with Michael Haydn at all. That's one of the, the well. The, Michael is a wonderful builder. I don't know how long he's been building. I've known him for ten or fifteen years. And I bought two of his guitars, and um, he's now he's pretty much quit building guitars. <clears throat> Uh, he's building mandolins because the market is so much it's so much easier to make a living but the mandolins I mean they started like 15 grand now right you know for a good handmade mandolin a hundred if it's a old Gibson you know <laughs> right I saw one of the old F5s from the, the 20s mm -hmm. and it's yeah you know, I mean I think he said it was worth hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars oh yeah I mean, and and what I think, or I'm told, I don't know, but the market was driven up by the Japanese. Collectors in Japan are just absolutely nuts for this kind of stuff, you know, old fenders, like a, you know, 50s Stratocaster is 100 grand or something. You yeah. know, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. and anyway, they, but, so George can always sell those mandolins at that price. And for some reason, really good handmade mandolins are <laughs> sell like hotcakes. And he said most of his clientele is like doctors and lawyers. Real musicians can't afford them. Right. You know. Yeah, who can buy a, a, yeah, a, a can twenty thousand dollar mandolin? Yeah. I mean you have to I mean Yeah, to. I mean so well, you know, I, I mentioned to a friend of mine yesterday about you know, the Santa Cruz guitar saying, you know, that's doable. That's like you can, uh, you, know, I, you know, I can crunch together over time the money to buy one of their guitars. Yeah. But when you start talking, you know, fifteen, yeah. twenty thousand dollars, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. most people, be they musicians or not, I mean, yeah. can't afford them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a strange little business, little niche of America. <laughs> Look, can I look at the, the sure. Michael Hyman real sure. quick with this with the video in here? Sure. Yeah, I, I very I love, much. I love playing this guitar. It is just the neck is so slinky, but it's a wide neck like those others. It's got a shallow, a shallower body. Makes it very comfortable to play. It takes all the boom out of it. Yeah, do you find, why do you want the boom out of it for you personally? Because I don't like it. It just there's a dull roar down the low end, and and it's very hard to control on stage. You you find out that if you, you get feedback and you get problems and yep, and so when you have the shallower body, mm -hmm. it's not a worry. Well, it's a, it's always a worry, but. Not with the Richard McClish pickups. For some reason, it's some kind of electronic. There's six pickups, and they're wired out of phase, and the, you know all this voodoo that I don't know anything <laughs> about. But that guitar just won't feed back. Period. Really? I mean, it doesn't. What and is it's dead quiet. There's no hiss or noise. You can use it to record in a studio with. What are the uh, what are those wrong? Oh. The system of pre before you. Well, start? it's hard to find somebody to know how to install it because it's very. It's not just a like putting a saddle and adjusting it because it's it's like six different pickups and they're they're sitting on little legs, but you don't just raise and lower the action <laughs> casually like you can on a regular guitar. right if you this can. is a very pretty involved so right. so once you do that you better be prepared to have somebody who can set it up well for you. yeah and and somebody who can install it I had to make this bridge purposely for this pickups wide enough to just fit right and then this is um, Richard McClish's EQ system in it. It's a little, just a little small thing. Now this, it, it actually comes as one of those plastic things. But, but yeah. Paul McGill and I figured out 
why didn't we just, you know, do that? Because I really didn't want that in there, you know. Um, so anyway, we just made that up. But, I mean, it's it's the best pickup you know, guitar I've ever played, you know. Where are they, where are they for at? being consistent, anytime you just walk up there and you know it's going to be right, mm -hmm. you know. So, unlike that cheap one in my guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Now